Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles. Now, we're getting to the end of set two of Sudoku Tudes and we're moving on to a zipper line puzzle. This is Skitter, another puzzle by Bremster. And this puzzle is, um, which is me, hi. Um, and this puzzle is definitely one of the harder puzzles in the set. Now, this was designed to teach a fundamental lesson in zipper lines, but I haven't looked at this one in a while, so we'll have to see how we go. Um, so, yeah, as we move on to the final two puzzles, these ones should be a little bit more tricky. So those of you who've been coasting through, you may find these last two a little bit more challenging. But let's get on to the rules so we can get on to the Sudoku-tude. So normal Sudoku rules apply um, in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. And then we've got zipper lines. So digits an equal distance away from the center of a lavender line must sum to the value in the central cell of the line. The central cell has been marked with a dot. So this digit, um, these digits are one away from the central cell. So the sum of those two digits, which are one away from the central cell, sum to the value in that cell. These are two away from the central cell. So those will sum to the value in that cell. Um, and the reason they're called zipper lines is if you were to zip them up, these would fold into um, this, these would um, zip up into a single cell, which would be the same as that. And these would zip up into a single cell, which would be the same as that. But if you were to zip them together, really nice line, um, num name for the line. Lots of given digits, but that doesn't necessarily mean the puzzle is easy. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we can start with some basic Sudoku. One and one means one isn't in any of those. One is in one of those two. Uh, we have one and one, meaning one's down here. I'm not going to pencil mark three locations yet. Uh, eight and eight. Oh, we've got eights. That's not really helping us yet. Um, are we running out of basic Sudoku already? Six is in one of those two. If this is a six, this has to be very low. It'd have to be two or three, and this would have to be eight or nine because the sum of those two goes there. Seven and seven puts seven in one of those three. Now, this I don't think can be a seven. If seven was here, this would have to be the sum of this digit and this digit. But I can't do seven, one, eight, and I can't do seven, two, nine, because I can't put one or two there. So this can't be a seven. Seven is in one of those two. Okay. Do I have more Sudoku? Five, uh, five is in one of those two because of the fives looking down and across. Five here would mean this is... Uh, I could make this low to make this six or nine. But five could be off the line, which is giving me some options. Now, nine... One of the important concepts that I'm trying to teach with this is nine can, um, high digits on a line are a problem. And the most obvious one is nine can never go on a line. If you put nine on a zipper line, what do you put on the other side to then have something that it sums with? So for example, nine can never go in these cells or these cells. So if I was to put nine here, and I keep this at its lowest possible one, this would have to be a 10 and it doesn't work. You can never put nine on a zipper line except in the central cell. So nine is in one of those two and therefore nine is in one of those two. Nine therefore is in one of those three. Um, now that is interesting for eight in box five. Where can eight go in box five and where can eight go in box box well where can nine go in box four nine oh yeah nine's got three places in box four but eight must go in one of these cells because eight can't go in the middle row and we've already got seven down here but if i was to put eight here this would have to be nine and this would have to be one and it can't be so that can't be an eight if this was to be eight, this would have to be nine and this would have to be one. So that can't be eight. If this was to be eight, this would have to be one and this would have to be nine. That works. If um, this was to be eight, this would have to be nine and this would have to be one. 
that doesn't work. And this is the break-in trick for the puzzle. What happens if I put eight into one of those two cells? And this is where the puzzle breaks if you do that. Because if these become seven and eight, what do you put in those two cells? Because for me to put seven here, I need to put something larger than seven into the middle of the into the middle of the um, into the middle of the zipper line. So I'd need to put eight or nine. But if I put eight into one of those two cells, I need to put a nine into one of those. So if these are seven and eight, I need two digits higher than seven and eight into the center of those zipper lines. And with seven and eight here, the only possibility is nine, and then I'm out of digits. I cannot put an eight in either of those two cells. That becomes an eight, that becomes a nine, and that becomes a one. And that is the break-in for this puzzle. Because that, by Sudoku, now puts eight in one of those two. Okay. The nine here now does a lot of forcing because nine can't be in here, in here, or on a line. Nine is in one of those two, which of course puts now nine in one of those two. So this could be eight, nine, one, or if this is the eight, this is the nine. This is eight, nine, one. This could still be seven, two. I don't remember at this point what's next, but I do remember this break in. These sum to nine. Now this can't be one, two, three, so it's four, five, or six. And if this is four, five, six, this is one, two, three. So, uh, no, it's not. Four would, this is, yeah, four would go with five, five would go with four, and six would go with three. This is three, four, five. And it can't be four or five. So this is three and this is six. So these digits are one, two, three. I've got to put four in the column. So the four goes at the top and the seven goes at the bottom. And that puts seven in one of those two. And I can't put seven. Oh no, I could put seven there if that was a nine and that was a nine. In fact, this nine is putting nine in one of those two because I can't put nine in any of those and I can't put nine on a line. What are these? These are one, two, eight, and nine. So eight is down here somewhere. Okay. One of these has to be seven. If this is the seven, this has to be two, nine. Hmm. If this is eight, this is one, this is nine. And then the maximum for that would be six because it'd see seven, eight, and nine. Actually, the max, what can this be? Because it sees seven and eight and five. So if we mark all the possibilities, it could be two, three, and I know it can't be some of these, four, it can't be five, could be six, can't be seven, eight, nine. Now it can't be two because these would have to be one. These, the only way of doing two would be one plus one and then one plus one, and that's a problem. Now three, three, I'd have to put a one somewhere and I don't have one on this line at all. So three would be one plus two. And I can't, and then two plus one, and I can't do it because I can't put one here. The minimum these could be, and this is where these lines get tricky, but to do three, I have to do two plus one, and I can't put one on this line at all. So there's no three, and I can't do four for the same reason. What would I put here? The other way to do four is one plus three or two plus two. And I can't put one down here. So these are all, all, um, all have to be two. And I can't do one, two. There's just not enough low digits. The minimum there is three. So this would have to be one. And I can't do that. So this can't be a four. So this is six or nine. Can I do six? Maybe. This would have to be, well, I couldn't put one here. So what are, what are these? This can't be seven or eight. So it's nine, six, can't do five, four, and I can't do three because I can't do one on any of these lines. So this is a six, nine pair. Three doesn't work 
because to do three, I'd need to put one somewhere. So this is a six, nine pair, which puts six up here somewhere. This one's got a bit more freedom. Well, this one can't be eight, seven. So this could be nine. It can't be eight, seven. It could be six. Could it be five? It can't be four because there's a four in the box and it can't be three because I can't put ones anywhere on the line. Now, if it was five, I could go three, two, two, three, maybe. So I think it could be five. I think I've missed something. Seven is in one of those two by Sudoku. I missed that. This is only six, eight or nine. Because it can't be, maybe, could that one be three? I can't put one in any of those. So these would both have to be two. It can't be four, five, seven. This is six, eight or nine. Seven, nine, two. Something about this. I wish I remembered. One is down here somewhere because of the way the ones line up. Three is in here somewhere. Eight, nine, one. This was, oh, this is an eight, nine pair. Once I put the six in here. So these are one, two, three, four, five, seven. This is eight, nine. So eight is over here. And I can't put eight there. Eight is in one of those two. I can't put eight here because that would put one here. I did have to go eight, something higher. So eight, nine, one, and I can't put a one there. Where's eight in this box? Yeah, I can't put eight down here. Eight here would need one here and I can't. Right, right, where's eight in this box? Okay, so let's look at this. Where is eight in this box? I can't put eight down here because of the pointing eights here. I can't put eight where there's already a digit. I can't put eight here because eight here would need nine and then one, and eight here would need nine and then one, and this one is eliminating one. So eight is not in any of those. So the question now is where is eight in this column? I can't put it in any of those. I can't put it in any of those because of these eights, and I can't put it in either of those. That's an eight. That is the important deduction I had missed. So this eight means that that's not the eight, but now where is nine in this box? That nine is eliminating all of those. I can't put nine on a line. That's a nine. Therefore, that's a six. Therefore, that's a nine. That's what I'd missed. Okay. So if this is a six, that's very forcing, I think. Because I can't put a one up here. So how do I do six? I, can, I, can't, I don't think I can put a three on this line. There's no one down here and there's no one up here. So one five is not possible because I can't put one on the line because of these two ones and I can't put one down here because of this. So I could do two four, but I don't think I can put three on the line because if I put three here, I have to, I can't put three here, so I can't put three here. And if I put three here, I put that three here and that three sees all of them. So these have to be two four. And that two makes that four, which makes that two. And that two makes that four and that two by zipper line. So those are all forced. And these are one, two, three, and five. So wherever the three is here puts six on this line. And that six says it's not there. So that's the six, which by zipper line makes that the three. So that's the five, which makes that the four. And that is how you start solving this puzzle. Okay. This is a triple now. One, two, three, and six. Okay, if that's a two, that's a six, which it can't be. If this is a three, this is a five, and the two couldn't be a six because of that. And if this is a six, this is a two. 
but there must be a two in one of those, which means this is now a two by Sudoku, which makes that the seven, which makes that the five. Excellent. This two looking down says that can't be a two, so that can't be a seven. That's the seven, which makes that the one, which by pencil marks makes that the six. Looking up saying that's not the six. This is now a three or a six by the row, and the three in the box makes that the six, which makes that the three by zipper line. Looking back, making that the three by, um, by line, which turns around and makes that the five. What am I missing in this column? One, two, and three. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These are two and three, and the three here makes that the two, which makes that the three. Excellent. The break-in on this I rem is the trickiest bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the four looks up, making that the five and that the four. The five looks up, making that the seven and that the five. This one looks across saying that's not the one, so that's the one, which by pencil marks makes that the eight. These are two and nine, and the two here is looking down, making that the nine and that the two. The nine looks up, making that the eight and that the nine. Excellent. These two digits, one, two, three, four, and nine, and this four is looking down, making that the nine, that the four, which by pencil marks makes that the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's an eight. The three, of course, is looking up, making that the two. The two and the three make that the six. The eight is looking up, saying this is not the eight, so that's the eight. This column seems to be missing its two. So these are five and seven, and this five is looking across, making that the seven and that the five. This row seems to be missing its three. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And the nine is looking up, making that the seven and that the nine. By pencil marks, that's the six and that's the one. This box is missing its one and its three. And this three is looking down, making that the one and that the three. This box is missing one, two, and four. There's already a four in row seven. So this becomes the four and the one in column nine looks down, making that the two and that the one. And that is how you solve Skitter by Bremster. Um, called it Skitter because I thought this was a bit of a simple bug shape. Um, I quite like this one. I really liked the concept of the way this couldn't be a seven, eight pair, or these would both need to be nines. Um, that is a fundamental concept of zipper lines that I think a lot of people will miss. And then the way that these digits were forcing um, everything. Um, and of course, the Sudoku on eights in this box. Um, I thought that is another trick that a lot of people might miss. Um, as I said, not all of these are going to be ridiculously easy. And I think the next one is another step up in difficulty. Um, look, you can look forward to an Arrow Sudoku Tude tomorrow. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you think this series is, I mean, I don't charge for these puzzles, but you can support the creation of these puzzles. There's a Kofi link below if you want to make a, a donation. Um, it, you don't have to, it's not expected, but um, you can donate to the puzzle series if you wish to. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.